So for those of you that don't know us, I'm Ollie. And I'm Alicia. And we are going to show you another one of our vlogs. This is Morrison Court. Uh, it's currently a three bed house, terrace house. We're going to convert it to a five bed HMO with four bathrooms. Uh, this is the fourth project that we've done of this kind. This layout. This layout, yes. Yeah, so it's almost like our cookie cutter approach, but it works really well. So we've bought this with business partners. Um, they've not even seen the place yet until today, until I sent them the pictures. So they have full trust in us that we're gonna do a good job and um, yeah, we are. So you've seen um, how we do these sort, of, um, these sort of houses because this is the fourth vlog of its kind or video of its kind. So we're gonna do a bi-weekly vlog on this one um, just because it might get a bit boring if we do sort of every week and you've seen it before. Um, so we'll show you a little slidey video of the whole place but I think I'm going to jump behind the camera now and I'm going to let Alicia show you around so we can really show you the condition that it's in and then uh, at the final video you'll see what we've done with the place. So, uh, oh it's also worth mentioning because I can see it here, the garden, um, it's got a really nice garden past all the rubbish so we're going to sort of hopefully landscape that really well um, and yeah we're just really excited to get on with this project. I think builders are starting next, on oh, Monday, okay. so it's Friday so they're just starting on Monday. Um, they're going to rip it out before Christmas. Yes, so we completely gut the property and then we can put the layouts how we want it and do everything from scratch and just everything's going to be brand new. So uh, let's show you around. Okay, so as those of you that have watched these vlogs before know, um, this is currently the kitchen and it will remain the kitchen. However, what we do is we add a um, sofa area and a TV um, sort of lounge area into the kitchen so that we have the kitchen, dining and lounge area all in one. Um, so this house, although it's the same layout, it's actually a mirror image of all the other ones we've done. So if I get a bit confused, bear with me because it's a bit back to front. Um, so, but yeah, this is basically what we do. So there's a breakfast bar here, sofa, TV, and then all the units go along here and along there. And so everyone gets their own cupboard space. We add in enough um, amenities for six tenants because what that then allows us to do is have a couple in one of the bedrooms, which when you see upstairs, you'll see is big enough for um, a couple. Um, so then we move out into here. This will become, so what's currently oh, downstairs toilet will become a shower room with a basin. Um, and then what's here will become a toilet and basin. Now I'll explain who those are for in a minute. And in here, this handy little cupboard is where we keep all of the utilities. This is going to have the water tank, uh, boiler, um, all the sorts of things that go in that need to be sort of kept away will go in this cupboard. Um, and then what we'll then do, this wall will be brought out to about here, which will allow us to make a wardrobe under the stairs for what will then be a bedroom here. So we'll come into this bedroom this way, wardrobe there into here, in what is currently the lounge, and this will be split into two to make two bedrooms. So that bedroom will be off of the kitchen, so we'll need to have, <coughs> excuse me, a um, external door there, because obviously all rooms that their exit point is onto the kitchen need to have another exit point. So that bedroom will have a, an external door, and this one will just have the, the door out there, because it won't be connected to the kitchen after you put the wall up in the middle. It's got quite a nice little, window. yeah, it's yeah. got quite a nice little bay window, which we've not had before, so that'd be really nice. Just, I think bay windows just add a bit more kind of character to it, so it's quite nice. So, um, we'll show you, show you the garden scene as we're down here. Yeah, can't get out that way. Oh, you can't? Okay. No. Yeah, it's a bit of a mess at the moment, um, but hopefully we can sort of make a bit of decking area. Um, it's got quite a nice little pergola there. Um, it's got a fish pond, actually. So I was saying, I don't know whether we could put a roof on that, and then you've got like a sheltered area for yeah. smoking. Um, the fish are going very soon. We're probably going to keep it maybe to keep it as a water feature. Uh, see, like the soffits need replacing. Not in great condition. Yeah. But yeah, it'll be quite nice when we finish with it. Um, so 
Yep. It's got a nice little storage. Drum rip shed. Cool. Should we go upstairs? normally do or we always do sorry is um we turn the stairs at the top so we put a kite in and the stairs will actually come up here um so what that allows us to do is actually gain all of this space here for that bedroom because at the moment that bedroom is quite small um so the door to that bedroom will be here and what will end up happening is see this becomes bigger and this bit here will be the sure. ensuite shower room so it's currently a really tight fitting wardrobe in there at the moment. But yeah, as you can see, it's quite a small room. Um, I'm not sure that it currently meets um, the 6.5 to square meters, but once we've moved that wall, it will meet that, that requirement. So um, yeah, so this is bedroom C. This bedroom is uh, one of the largest bedrooms. So I think this is about 10.3 square metres. So this will have its own shower dedicated to just this room, but it's an off-suite shower. So it's going to be backing onto that shower that I just showed you. That room. It'll be, so this cupboard kind of spans the whole width of the property. Um, and so it'll be the shower for that bedroom and the shower for the one that we were just in along this wall. Open it on. Yeah, Marilyn. So then what happens is, I'll go this way around, but yeah. this is currently the bathroom. And what we kind of do is do like a um, like a back-to-back -back kind of shape, two L's. And um, one becomes the toilet for those two bedrooms that I just showed you. And the other part of it, this bit. because you get, yeah, you get all of this bit as well, will become the shower, toilet and basin for the remaining bedroom. So they'll have a full on suite, whereas everyone else has been kind of um, sure. sharing some elements. Ugh. Lovely. So, this is the last bedroom, um, so it's the ensuite bedroom that I was just telling you about. Um, it's the one that can take the couple, so we always give, if we have couples that are interested, we always give them this room because it means that they are just sharing the bathroom between themselves as opposed to having to share with another tenant. Um, so we create a doorway through here and then it's kind of like an L shape um, ensuite, so there's a shower there and a toilet there and a basin on this side. Um, so yeah, it's a really nice size room. Um, it's over the 10.3 square metres, so it meets the, the national standards for two people sharing and um, one room. Um, but yeah, so as we said at the beginning of this video, builders are in on Monday. They're going to strip everything out because we'll basically take down everything inside. Um, and that means that before Christmas, that will be done. Over Christmas, I can come in and measure because it's much easier to measure when all the walls are down and then do the plans ready for them to start beginning of January um, on with the refurb. So yeah, uh, sort of, I don't know, knowing exactly what we do with this place, like I said, the only caveat with this one is that it's a mirror image, so I've just got to make sure that everything is as, you know, we've sort of expected it to. But yeah, we'll um, show you around for the duration of the project. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs>